welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be talking to you guys about um it wouldn't be like my journey but it would be more like tips on how to not get stunted on your hair growth journey especially during winter time we have winter time coming up now this will be the perfect video to do i'm gonna go ahead and get right into the tips so that we don't have to do too much chit chat in the beginning of the video but i did want to remind you guys to go ahead and subscribe down below thank you guys um, for all the new people who are coming to my channel thank you guys so much for subscribing and to my old subscribers that have been here for so long thank you so much for your support and i read all of your comments um also don't forget to thumbs up this video as well so that other people can get recommended this video and found this content as well so let's go ahead and get right into it okay so i mentioned that your hair is tends to break easier in the winter time or your hair care routine tends to take the biggest hit in my opinion in the winter time and that's just because a lot of times um the winter can be harsh on your hair it can drought your hair it's cold outside a lot of times we even get a little bit more lazier in the winter time which is understandable where we're not really paying as much attention to our routine as we were before so the winter time is where i feel that your hair can take the biggest hit my hair has taken the biggest hit during winter time before i knew all of these little tips and tricks that i share with you guys on my youtube channel but when i first started my natural hair journey there was a lot of times where my hair would be stunted and that was like around the first beginning stages of me being natural and prior to that my hair would just be at one length whereas now my hair grows very easily even if i get my hair trimmed my hair grows back in no time i have a lot of hair growth within like just a few just a few weeks of me doing one thing or me doing nothing at all my hair just grows 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 so i wanted to give you guys those tips so the first tip that i definitely want to put in this video is to keep up with your hair routine during the winter time don't become lazy i know it's so easy to become lazy because of the winter you're not really wanting to go out so you're just like oh i'll just you know <laughs> i won't do my hair which sometimes that can actually benefit your hair but what i mean is do not skip out on your health routine oh you want to take care of yourself inside and you want to also take care of your hair as well and your routines and keep them up to par something as simple as oiling your scalp at night or twisting your hair up at night if you're not wanting to deal with it can make a huge difference rather than just leaving it out and allowing your hair to just be every which way just because you're not really going many places in the winter time which like i said i can attest to doing that sometimes but you definitely want to make sure that you're keeping up with your routines in the winter time so that your hair growth can continue speaking of staying on top of things i did want to mention which i always forget to mention this in my video so i'm definitely going to mention it in this video that is to stay on top of eating well um, or to start eating well and to stay on top of drinking water so that your entire body can stay hydrated if you are not a person who likes to drink a lot of water I recommend that you eat fruits or foods that have a high water content um, which doesn't really replace water but it also does better than you just not drinking water at all especially if you're drinking a lot of soda I say to stay away from soda but you guys know how I am about health eating your water can definitely make a difference and it's going to show up in your hair routines this is a channel where I always stress that your hair health is way more important than the length um, way more important than how your styles look blah 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 because if you keep your foundation healthy, that, that means that mostly every single thing that you do to your hair is going to take a lot better than versus if you had an unhealthy body and your hair isn't really benefiting as well. Um, I recommend a big bottle like this. I have got this for me and my daughter. Um, only thing I do not like about this bottle is that it's plastic. So if you want to get an eco-friendly one, uh, I think they have containers that are this size that are um what is it called still they also have containers that are just a lot more eco-friendly than this this sometimes leaves your water tasting like chemicals i've noticed that over time i'm definitely going to be replacing this with a more like a better 
bottle like probably I'm gonna get still bottle or I will say that when I added more water water into my diet I noticed that my hair is a lot longer it grows a lot faster so also I'm gonna put a picture of my hair back when I first started my natural hair routine um, where I was just getting started with my natural hair routine just getting started um, with my health my healthy journey on the food side and just healthy journey all overall and I can definitely tell a difference like my hair back then took a little bit longer to grow or it would just grow to a certain length whereas now I don't really have boundaries with the hair length of my hair it just grows 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 so make sure that you stay hydrated okay so this next tip you're probably gonna be confused because I just did that whole spill about how water is so important but hear me out so I recommend during the winter time that you use water less on your hair. We'll say as someone who does a weekly wash on my hair most of the time, I have found that washing my hair less actually helps my hair to grow even more. So I've noticed this, I have a video on my channel I believe about this. So back in 2018 I believe when I was traveling a lot, I was not having as much time to deal with my hair so I was having to wash my hair a lot less and during that time I had to focus more on moisturizing my hair and I just was spraying my hair with water, applying a moisturizer and going on by my day or restyling my hair and my hair grew so much during that time and I just couldn't believe it so I realized that when I was washing my hair a lot less or washing it on a more of a intuitive schedule my hair was actually growing a lot more than when I was on a super consistent weekly basis washing my hair every single time no matter if I felt that it was dirty or not I just was sticking to that schedule um, doesn't mean I was neglecting my hair like I said in the first tip you don't want to neglect your hair I was still moisturizing my hair still doing all of the um oiling my scalp taking my growth oil which is pretty empty here but taking my growth oil and putting it on my scalp I was still doing all of my routines for maintaining my hair I just wasn't washing it constantly like before and it made a huge difference in my hair and I wanted to share that with you guys as well this routine you're just gonna spray your hair with water apply the water to your hair and then you're gonna go in with the moisturizer and you're gonna put a moisturizer on your hair and then you're going to go in with an actual oil to seal in that moisture so you're gonna seal in the hydration you're gonna seal in the moisturizer and then you know the oil is gonna seal all that in so that your hair can actually stay moisturized and you should be able to do this every two to three days depending on your hair for my hair I can do this every two to three days so I can if you guys want to see a video on how I do my moisturizing routine during the winter time make sure that you leave a comment down below and let me know or thumbs up this video so I can know because I would definitely put that routine out it's super simple and it works like magic okay so the last tip that I wanted to give you guys which is a super important tip I feel like I should have put this in the beginning of the video so that people could probably see it but hopefully you guys stayed for the whole video but this last tip I wanted to tell you guys is to watch out for breakage during the winter time it happens to be the time when the most breakage happens um, I made a video about this on my channel very long ago but I found that when we are in winter time we're wearing a lot more sweaters a lot more like wooly texture stuff and your hair is just like even your scarves as well and toboggans and just things like that it's just so much stuff around your hair that's just you know touching the ends of your hair drying it out the, the um, toboggans that you wear things like that unless you have one that has the silk inside of it most of the time you're going to be pulling on your hair more than you normally would so to avoid that happening one thing that I noticed that absolutely works and has worked like a charm for me especially when I'm wearing my winter scarves is to apply an oil to the ends of your hair or you can actually tuck your ends of tuck the ends of your hair when winter time is around so you can like wear a lot more protective styles or if you're a person who likes to have your hair out most of the time like me I protect the style a lot during the winter time but I don't think I protect the style as much as a average natural would so I definitely put oil on the ends of my hair and you would just take you would just take an oil I'm taking my growth oil and I just literally take that oil and 
I put it on the ends of my hair. And so whenever I'm wearing like a wooly sweater or a scarf or anything like that, it's going to slide off. It's not going to be able to tug it versus if you had just dry ends, your hair is gonna be a lot more capable of being tugged, pulled, and ripped out. So as far as hats go, I do recommend that you get the hats that have the silk inside of them. Um, there's a lot of hats out there that have the silk inside of them now for people who want to protect their natural hair. So I highly recommend that you get one of those if you are one of those people who like to wear a lot of toboggans. Okay, so those were all of the tips that I had for just dealing with stunted hair in general and you have been dealing with it all year round. Um, these tips can help you as well. So these are not all of the tips that you know are out there. There's definitely more things that can be done, but I found that these are kind of like the base of um, things that can be done to help with stunted hair. I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you guys so much for your support and I'll see you guys later. Bye.